The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Friday, May 13, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Pittsburgh Pirates vs Cincinnati Reds. Our team pick is. Cincinnati Reds for the win. And here is why. Cincinnati is missing key players in its lineup such as Joey Votto, Jonathan India and Donovan Solano and that has resulted in the Reds falling to 27th in team batting average at .217. The Reds are 24th in slugging percentage at .349 and 23rd in on-base percentage at .292. Brandon Dury has six home runs, which lead Cincinnati, while Tommy Pham and Colin Moran have each hit four dingers. Moran is the team leader in RBIs with 20, while Tyler Naquin and Dury each have 18 RBIs. Cincinnati has 80 extra base hits with 53 doubles, two triples and 25 home runs through 31 games at the plate, Pittsburgh is 11th in team batting average at .238, 18th in on-base percentage at .307, and 19th in slugging percentage at .371. The Pirates have scored 113 runs which is 24th. Daniel Vogelbach has hit 5 home runs to lead Pittsburgh. Brian Reynolds is not hitting for an average at .229, but has 3 doubles, 1 triple and 4 home runs. Ben Gamble is the team leader in RBIs with 14. Pittsburgh has 75 extra base hits with 43 doubles, 7 triples and 25 home runs through 30 games I'm going to try the Reds. This one's really going to depend on which starter has a better outing, though. Mayle has had some rough games thus far, but he's coming off two earned on one hit and three walks versus the Pirates back on May 8. As for Keller, he gave up five earned in 4.1 innings his last time up versus Cincinnati a day prior. We should have a pretty even pitching matchup here. I'm leaning slightly reds, but you could make a case either way. Our total pick is. Over 8.27-year-old righty Tyler Mayle, 1 to 46.46 ERA, will take the mound for the Reds in this matchup. Last time out, Mayle allowed two runs in five innings during a 7-3 home victory versus Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Pirates are two games below .500 at home and are 6.5 games off the pace in the NL Central Division race. During Thursday's home loss, Pittsburgh managed just four hits and grounded into two double plays. SPJT Brubaker, 0-3, gave up two runs in five innings and took the loss for the Pirates, 13-18. 26-year-old righty Mitch Keller, 0-46.11 ERA, is still trying to find his way at the major league level. Through 28 innings of work, Keller has struck out 24 batters and owns a subpar 1.54 whip. Cincinnati 1B Joey Votto, COVID-19, is expected to need a rehab assignment before returning to the lineup. Through 32 games, Cincinnati ranks 24th in ops and 15th in runs scored. For the season, Pittsburgh ranks 21st in ops and 24th in runs scored. Take the over. Miami Marlins vs Milwaukee Brewers. Our team pick is. Marlins for the win. And here is why. Milwaukee remains up slightly on the money line overall for the season, while going 15-17 on the run line. Overs are 14-13-5 for Milwaukee, and just one of its last nine games has gone over the betting total. Offense was the question for the Brewers heading into the season, but they are fourth in scoring at 4.97 runs per game on a .734 ops, second best in baseball. A recent horrendous stretch has Milwaukee pitching all the way down to league average with a 3.70 collective ERA including a mark of 3.92 from the bullpen. Yellick is starting to look more like his old self after a couple of tough seasons, posting an .838 ops with 5 homers, 20 RBI and 22 runs scored. Rowdy Tellez has also been mashing with an .833 ops, 7 home runs and 27 driven in. Reigning NL Cy Young Award winner Corbin Burns will make his seventh start of 2022 after taking a tough luck loss against the Atlanta Braves on Saturday when he allowed two runs, one earned, on six hits and one walk, while striking out seven and six innings. The 27-year-old continues to be one of baseball's top aces, going 1-2 with a 1.86 ERA and 58 KBB ratio in 38.2 innings to start the season. The Marlins are down on the money line with their recent slide while going 16-15 on the run line for the season. Overs are 14-17 for the Marlins after the last two games at Arizona, went over the betting total. 
Miami has improved from previous years offensively, ranking just above average with 4.13 runs per game on a .695 team ops. This is a top 10 pitching staff in baseball with a 3.51 ERA including a mark of 3.35 from a good bullpen. Chisholm Jr. is an emerging young star with a .948 ops, 6 homers, 6 steals and 24 driven in. Joey Wendell is proving to be a smart offsis in addition with a line, 2 homers, 4 steals and 10 RBI. Pablo Lopez will make his seventh start of the year, hoping to continue a spectacular early season run as he's 4-1 with a 1.00 ERA across 36 innings. The 26-year-old was especially brilliant last Saturday against the San Diego Padres with eight scoreless innings, allowing five hits and two walks, while striking out five. With such a tight matchup between two elite starting pitchers and comparable offenses, taking the team at plus odds is the most valuable odds. Miami has been unfortunate to post a below .500 record as each of its last eight losses have improbably come by one run, and Lopez is good enough to give the Marlins a chance here by matching zeros with Burns. After posting great numbers since the start of 2020, Lopez has taken things up a notch so far this year with elite metrics like a 62 ERA and 19.7 KBB percent that back his sparkling ERA. Milwaukee's offense has a 109 WRC plus which ranks 9th in baseball but also suggests its lofty scoring numbers could fall soon, and the Brewers have done a lot of their damage against bottom three pitching staffs in the division rival Reds and Pirates. Surprisingly, the Marlins have been the better bullpen by a healthy amount so far, as Milwaukee is having trouble sorting out its options ahead of Josh Hader with normally elite setup man Devin Williams struggling. Beating Burns will be a challenge, but Lopez is good enough to make the Marlins worth a shot here as an underdog. Our total pick is. Under 6.5 runs. Milwaukee is averaging 4.97 runs per game. Their .237 batting average is 15th in the league. Their .315 on base percentage is 11th, while their .419 slugging percentage is 2nd. Christian Yalek leads Milwaukee with a .259 batting average. Hunter Renfro leads the team with 8 home runs, while Rowdy Tellez leads the team with 27 RBI. Milwaukee's pitching has been good, with the team giving up 4.06 runs per game. Opponents have a .218 batting average against the Brewers, which is 6th in the league. Their 3.70 ERA is 15th, while their 1.22 whip is 14th. In his last start, Burns gave up 6 hits and 2 runs in 6 innings, leading to a 3-2 loss to Atlanta. They will need another solid start from him if they want to win this game. Miami is averaging 4.13 runs per game. Their .238 batting average is 10th in the league. Their .314 on base percentage is 13th, while their .380 slugging percentage is 14th. Jazz Chisholm Jr. has been the big bat for the Marlins. He leads the team with a .295 batting average, 6 home runs, and 24 RBI. Miami's pitching has also been good, with the team giving up 3.84 runs per game. Opponents have a .222 batting average as 8th in the league. Their 3.51 ERA is 10th, while their 1.21 whip is 12th. In his last start, Lopez gave up 5 hits and no runs in 8 innings, leading to an 8-0 win over San Diego. They will need a similar effort from him if they want to get the win. Washington Nationals vs Houston Astros. Our team pick is. Houston Astros minus 1.5 runs. And here is why. Framer Valdez has been pitching very well this season according to his baseball savant numbers as he is in the 95th percentile in barrel percentage, 90th percentile in XSLG, 76th percentile in hard hit percentage, and 67th percentile in Zera. Valdez throws five different pitches, sinker, cutter, curveball, chanjup, cutter, fastball, and his cutter has been a solid pitch as hitters have a .143 batting average and a .286 slugging percentage off of it. He has to continue pitching well and extend the winning streak here. Josiah Gray is the next ace for the Washington Nationals, but has been struggling a bit this season according to his baseball save and numbers as he was in the 13th percentile in chase rate, 13th percentile in barrel percentage, 17th percentile in walk percentage, and 27th percentile in average exit velocity. Gray throws four different pitches, fastball, curveball, slider, chanju, and his curveball has been doing extremely well as hitters, have a .125 batting average and a .156 slugging percentage against it. In his three home games this season, Gray is 1-2 with a 5.40 ERA in 15 innings thus far, so he needs to correct himself here if he wants to be successful. Josiah Gray has been decent as of late, allowing six hits and three runs in his last 11.1 innings, but the Nationals continue to find ways to lose. Framer Valdez has allowed 27 hits and 12 earned runs in 32.1 innings, and his walk issue has improved. The Houston Astros also haven't lost since May 1, so you almost want to ride the hot hand until it runs cold.
give me the Astros and the RL for max betting value. Our total pick is. Over 8. 2080 year old Southpaw Frammer Valdez, 1 to 23.34 ERA, will head to the hill for the Astros in this contest. Through 32 plus innings, Valdez has struck out 26 batters and allowed just one home run. The Washington Nationals have dropped 13 of their first 17 home games and are stuck in the NL East division basement. On Thursday, Washington of Juan Soto homered during the ninth inning of a 4 1 home loss versus New York. SP Jonah Don, 1 6, walked five batters in three plus innings and took the loss for the Nationals, who fell to 11 22 on the year. The Nationals will counter with talented right hander Josiah Gray, 4 2 3.45 ERA, in the series opener. Washington has won four of Gray's last five starts, and he has allowed just eight runs total over that stretch. The Houston Astros have scored 21 runs in their last three games and four or more runs in six of their last nine games. The Astros are 14-0 this season when scoring four or more runs. Michael Brantley leads the Astros with 29 hits and 11 RBI, while Jeremy Pina and Kyle Tucker have combined for 57 hits and 39 RBI. Framer Valdez gets the ball, and he is 1-2 with a 3.34 ERA and 26 strikeouts this season. This will be Valdez's first career game against the Nationals. The Washington Nationals have scored 11 runs in their last three games and four or more runs in six of their last 10 games. The Nationals have won five of their last seven games when scoring four or more runs. Josh Bell leads the Nationals with 39 hits and 21 RBI, while Cesar Hernandez and Michael Franco have combined for 72 hits and 25 RBI. Josiah Gray gets the ball, and he is 4-2 with a 3.45 ERA and 34 strikeouts this season. This will be Gray's first career game against the Astros. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.